All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got something pretty cool going on. Uh, we're gonna build a DIY vapor blasting cabinet. We're gonna go get the supplies needed in order to build our own. I've been wanting to get one for a while, but they're really expensive, so I'm gonna do what I can to try and build my own and see what happens. It might work, it might not, but I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride and we'll see if we can get it to work or not. All right, made it back from the store. Got everything I need to hopefully try and build this thing. I spent several hours trying to figure out what fittings and hoses and different things I was gonna get at Home Depot and uh, Royal King and Harbor Freight and all those good places. Took a lot longer than I was planning on it, but finally made it back. And I'll show you how many pieces this thing, this cabinet comes in. It's gonna take forever to build, but it'll be quick for you guys. So there's all the pieces. There's all the hardware, the dirty bikes the box it came in and the instructions so probably don't need those i'm gonna get to putting this thing together and i'll uh see you guys when we're done and three hours later maybe four hours i don't know my phone died i've been out here all night it feels like finally got this thing together there were so many nuts and bolts it was hard to put together all by myself there it is The Harbor Freight Sandblasting Kit. Got a light up in there. I had to duct tape this because there were a bunch of holes where media would just get stuck in if I didn't. We got the on off switch for the light bar in there. The exhaust port. First part of the vapor blasting build complete. I just finished putting together this vapor blaster. I built it completely on my own with no like real help from the internet. There's a few things on YouTube where you pay for some video series so you can watch them put theirs together or something like that. I didn't feel like paying for it and I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that are in that same boat. So I kind of threw this thing together with just basic parts from Home Depot and Harbor Freight. I'm going to go ahead and walk through what I did to build it and I'll turn it on and try and get it to work for you. Another aspect of this build that I wanted to incorporate was not having to use a really, really big compressor that used like 220 volt. I wanted to be able to use just the regular outlets out here in the garage and not have to figure out all that new wiring and stuff. So I got the biggest compressor you could get still running 120 volt just right out here in the garage. We'll see if these work in combination or if they don't and find out together. The compressor I got is a 29 gallon two horsepower central pneumatic air compressor from Harbor Freight and it was like $370. There were a few 60 gallon compressors I was looking at for like six or 700 bucks and I just didn't want to mess around with the electrical aspect of things and I didn't really want to spend that much on an air compressor either so this will be plenty for everything else I need other than vapor blasting. I'm hoping it'll be enough for vapor blasting, but we'll see. So here's my setup. I got my 29 gallon air compressor right here and I got the blast cabinet from Harbor Freight that I threw together. And then I've got the pumping mechanism, media mixing chamber down below. And I got the air running out into that tube that connects to the air compressor. Here's a look inside and I'm using the gun that the cabinet came with. If it doesn't work out, then I'll use a different gun, but I think it should work okay for what I need it for. It came with pretty crappy light right in that corner and you could hardly see anything. I'll show you. That is with the light on inside the cabinet that it came with. So what I did was just bought this $20, $20 LED light and threw it right on top and now I've got plenty of light in there. Go ahead and open the hatch. You can see inside, there's the crappy light I was talking about, and then there's the good light right there. So we got the air compressor here, and I'm just using the valve on the actual air compressor. I bought another 
pressure gauge or whatever. I don't know. I bought another one of those to try and hook up to the cabinet and it was just too much. So for now, I'm just going to use this guy right here. We'll go ahead and connect our air hose here. So within my air system, I've got the air coming out of the air compressor, going through a tube, and then there's a there's a on and off valve and also a one-way valve. With the one-way valve that I'm talking about, um, this allows for air to go from the compressor to the cabinet, but it doesn't allow the media or the water to flow back into the compressor. So that's important because just preventing it going into your compressor and ruining it basically. And then I'll show you down below real quick. So I've got a lid on top of here for when it's mixing the water and the media so it doesn't like splash out and stuff so i'll go ahead and take this lid off and show you this is where it drains into the bucket i don't know if you guys can see there basically i tried getting a t-fitting but they didn't have any t-fitting so i had to do this four-way fitting that just blocks off the water basically so it can only go up into the cabinet and out this hose to circulate and agitate the media we got four cups of glass bead media in here with about two two and a half gallons of water this is the switch that turns it on so i'll just show you what it looks like when it does turn on just agitates the media and mixes it up into the water and then I turn it off and then right in through here it's hard to see because this plastic thing is blocking it but basically there's a tube that goes up and through here and then I'll show you up here that tube comes from down there down in the bucket up wraps right around through here and then goes into the gun so I got the slurry mixture going through this tube and then the air going through this tube all right now that the hard parts over putting everything together and uh, hooking everything up now let's put it to the test and see if it even works like I said I didn't pay for any of those things on YouTube I know there's a few people out there with programs or w watch video series or whatever that you can pay for to step by step see how you build this but I'm pretty good with building things taking them apart whatever so I figured I'd just spend the money on the parts and try and figure it out and if I couldn't figure it out then I'd buy the video thing that they have or whatever but I think this is gonna work so let's see if it does let's put this lid back on here keep anything from splashing let's go ahead and turn the system on like that and then you can see right there it's coming out of the gun. So let's go ahead and hook up the air. All right, so right here is just the slurry coming out of the, the gun here. You can see it coming out all right. Got the glass beads coming out. And now I'm gonna introduce the air and see if we got anything. Thumbs up. That is awesome. It works, so that's that's great. I'm super happy about that. The next thing is gonna be putting some parts in there and seeing how well it does finish-wise. That's all I got for today's video. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. In the next video, I'm gonna test this thing out, throw some parts in there, and see what the finish looks like. But as you just saw, this thing does work, and it wor honestly works better than I was thinking. So I'm super happy that it functions. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below what you want to see in future videos. See you guys in the next one.